In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a recursive form of an arithmetic sequence and turn it into an explicit form. And I'm going to start with a new sequence that I've never done before. So, let's say I was given the recursive form. a to the n plus 1 is equal to a to the n plus 3. And I was told that a to the 8 is equal to 94. That's my beginnings. So this is what I have to start with. And before I begin, it's really helpful to go through and look at all the different parts of my problem and figure out what each piece means, because I've only been given a bunch of letters and numbers, and I need to decipher what each one means. So a to the n plus 1 just means the next term. n plus 1 means basically one more. And n, since that's the term number that I have, Adding 1 to that will give me the next one. So a sub n is the term you have. And the plus 3 right here represents the growth in this situation. In this case, I'm adding 3. Now, that's this original problem. And it's also to, I, the problem also tells me that a8 is equal to 94. So what I really need to recognize is that I have a whole sequence of numbers. And some of these numbers I don't know, but I know one of them. One of them is 94. And that, because this 8 tells me my term number, is the 8th term. That 8th term is 94. And this recursive formula tells me that I need to take whatever term number I'm on and add 3 to it to get the next term. So this next one, after I add 3 more, is going to give me the next term. So for this one, it's going to be 97, and so on and so forth. And I could keep using this to go on, you know, past the ninth term into whatever term I wanted. But that doesn't help me very much, because these terms don't factor into the explicit formula at all. I don't use them at all in the explicit formula. What I really want to know is if I go backwards in time far enough, dot, 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 what is my first term? Because that is an important part of my explicit formula. So, what's my first term? And how do I figure that out? Well, if this is my eighth term, you can imagine that I've done this adding 3 a couple of times. In fact, a total of 7 more times. So I've jumped a total of 7 times. So between my first term and my eighth term, I have 7 jumps of minus 3. And if I can just figure out how far backwards I need to go, I can figure out what my first term is. Well, 7 jumps of minus 3 is just going to be 7 times minus 3, which is basically negative 21. And that's how far backwards I went. So my first term is 21 numbers lower than 94. So if I take the eighth term that I've got, 94, and I subtract 21, that should end up giving me my first term. In this case, it's going to be 73. And that's my first term. So, once I've got that, I pretty much have everything else that I need to find my explicit formula. Now, my explicit formula, again, is a sub n equals the difference times the term number, which in this case is n minus 1 plus my first term, in this case is a1. And I found all those pieces. So here, to kind of write down, this is 73. So, Let me just kind of note that a little bit differently, that I had to go back 21 numbers from 94 to get to my 73. 
Now, once I've got that whole thing, I can put all the different pieces into here. So A sub N just stays the way that it is. That's what we're solving for again. But D, my difference or my growth, comes from here. So this is the number that goes in there for my D. N, in this case, stays where it is. But my first term, 73, goes right there. So A sub N, whatever I want, is equal to my difference, which is 3, times the number that I want, which is N. That's my variable, so it can change depending on what I need. Minus 1 plus the first term, which in this case is 73. If I wanted to use that to figure out what the 11th term was, now let's change that. Let's make it a little bit harder. The 41st term. Then I could go through and I could plug in all those different numbers in there. And I've already got my growth and my, my first term. So all I need to do is take this 41 and replace it with my n. So I would say a to the 41. Oh, let's put it in both places. How about that? So a to the 41 is equal to 3 times my 41 minus 1 plus my 73. And there's the equation I've got to solve. So 41 minus 1 is going to end up being 40. And everything else kind of just comes on down. And then 3 times 40 is going to be a buck 20, 120, plus 73, still stays there. And then those two together, 120 plus 73 is 193. So, A41, the 41st term of my sequence, is going to be 193. And there's how I change between an explicit form or a, a recursive format, which is what I started off with, which is a to the n plus one is equal to a to the n plus three, and a to the eight is equal to ninety-four. How I figure out what my first term is from that whole series, and then how I use that first term in my general formula for an arithmetic sequence, and use it to figure out what any arbitrary term is.